Something new that I'm incorporating into their routine. So I just recently purchased this. This is actually our second bottle because with the two girls we go through one bottle pretty fast. This past week has been full of fevers and coughing and sneezing and runny noses. So I wanted to start something off to kind of help boost their immune systems. She does not like the flavor, but we have been doing this for about two weeks now, so she's kind of starting to get used to it. Good girl, Franny. This is a good girl. Here you go. Last little bit. Good job, Flynn. Now I'm going to draw up Amelia's, but she does not take it as well, so I typically wait until she gets out of the tub and this is gonna sound really bad but if you're a mom i feel like you understand i kind of have to hold her down <laughs> so i won't film that i obviously i don't hurt her but i kind of have to like pin her down and once she gets the first little bit in her mouth then she's fine she'll take the rest of it but it's just getting the syringe into her mouth that's the hardest part this is live footage of me hiding out in the office because the girls have been non-stop crying today we started off the morning at 6 a.m. so I think that has something to do with it. I am covered in chocolate ice cream. I think these are boogers. I was in the middle of my run so I'm still in my workout clothes. And then the girls woke up so I didn't get a chance to finish the run. But I just needed five seconds to come in here, hide away from all the crying. Franny's in her pack and play so I know she can't get into anything. And Amelia's in the living room and all the doors are in and everything is locked. So I'm just gonna compose myself. Welcome back to the vlog. This is real life. Sometimes you just have to put the kids down, take a two second breather, and then go back. Otherwise, at least for me, I feel like if I don't, then I end up taking out my frustration on them, and I know it's not their fault. So we're gonna go, reapproach the situation. How can we move the slide? What are you doing? Oh, Defoyan. Okay, okay, come on. What's the problem? How about we all go watch a movie? Mommy. What? Slide. You want to go down the slide? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, let's put the doggies outside. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Rock Hi, friend. <laughs> Hi, my friend. Three, two, one, go! Your turn. Your turn. Hey, Queen. <laughs> Show them how you walk, Finn. Wow! <laughs> Should we try to get her to get the camera? Gentle. Okay, ready? <laughs> 
Watch Franny. Say go, Franny, go. Okay, ready? Okay. Tell her to walk. Okay. Okay, here she goes. So we took a short intermission after that last clip because it was hitting the fan and this one finally took a nap. Franny, don't put that in your mouth. But she is now awake, so I'm going to get her a snack. I just wanted to show you guys this new find that we had at Costco. So these are cauliflower stalks. They're kind of similar to veggie sticks, but they're only cauliflower. And Francis really likes them. They do, um, they are a lot bigger than veggie straws, so I do have to break these down a lot smaller than I do for veggie straws. But she seems to like them. Mark hates them, but Mark also doesn't like vegetables, so... What? Mickey Mouse wants to go in the car? Okay. Okay, let me fold the laundry and then we'll go take a car ride. Okay? Do you this? Take a plane. Get you carrot. Don't touch, please. No. Do you want some carrots? No. Do you want some chips? No. Yeah? Chips? Yeah. Here you go. Okay, look. Chips. All right, everybody's got their snacks, so mommy's gonna take five minutes no. to fold the laundry, okay? So while everyone is occupied with their snacks, hi. <laughs> I figured I would catch up with you guys and fold this laundry. I did this on a few vlogs um, ago and I felt like it was just a really good way to sit down and catch up and be Hello. <laughs> I felt like it was a good way to sit down and catch up and be productive at the same time because we all know how fast laundry piles up. So, um, Hello. Hello. Quick little update on Mark and I. We have had a little bit of a rough, rough patch, to be completely honest, but we are still going to counseling and we are working things out and I feel like we are improving every day I feel like we're still just like learning a lot about our relationship and figuring out how to overcome some of the hard times but overall I feel like we are improving and we are making progress Amelia Hello. <laughs> you silly okay Amelia <laughs> um what else has been going on? Both girls were sick. Franny is in the process of getting, this is a mess. This is a mess. Both girls were sick. Franny is in the process of getting three teeth on the top. So I don't know if hers was sickness or if hers was just from teething, but she had fever. Amelia! Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay. She had a fever for like two and a half days and she is now having boogies. But again, that's all kind of symptoms that could be from teething. So I don't really know. She is feeling better though. Amelia came down with her fever um, just a few days ago and hers lasted three days. It wasn't ever too high to where we were too concerned, but it was. Hi. <laughs> it was high enough to where Hi. she was on phone uh, regularly. So. Luckily, she broke her fever officially last night. She was Hi. running a low-grade fever Hi. right before dinner, Hi. but last Hi. night she sweated it out, and she is Hi. on the mend. Hi. 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 <laughs> the Love is Blind finale. which if you guys are not watching that show it's a original series on netflix and i highly recommend it i was addicted as soon as i watched the first episode and today the finale came out which is the wedding both of the girls have been on one today they've been fussy they've been crying they've been whining they've just been all over the place to the point where it's kind of one of those days where if you're a parent i'm sure you understand where you just kind of like give them whatever they want just to get five seconds of no whining or crying. So Amelia's lunch was literally rice aroni and a melted ice cream cone because that's all that would keep her 
happy for just like a short period of time. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish this laundry, get these girls under control, and then we'll check in with you guys after. All right, not that you can tell because the playroom is a disaster, but laundry is put away, dogs are fed. We have now entered the stage of opening drawers with Franny. So she is playing with all of the measuring cups. So my mom actually ordered us these magnetic safety locks for all of the, I don't know if they work no. on the drawers. I think they do. No, no, so basically no. it's like a lock. No, no, no. What? <laughs> so basically it's a lock and then I guess you use this like magnetic key to open it. I'm not really sure. Mark has to put them on maybe this weekend when he gets off, but until then, this is what we have to deal with. Franny? Um, no, don't put it in your mouth. Uh -huh. not way to see a little foil. Uh -huh. You need help? Uh -huh. What do you need help with? No, Franny. <laughs> no Fanny. No Fanny. Here, look. Look at this. Let's go. We are starting the morning outside. It's actually really freaking hot this morning. Yesterday it was like really humid and gross and overcast and today it's sunny and hot. So I gave the girls a bath and then I remembered that we had these chalk paints. Amelia was asking for paint in the bathtub and I usually buy those cheap uh, little bathtub paints from the dollar section in Target, but we ran out of that and we ran out of bubble bath So I remembered that we had these chalk paints. She's painting the sidewalk Franny's walking around in her walker, which she's probably gonna be getting ready for a nap pretty soon Oh my god, I look so rough. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and montage the rest of this So we actually have some really exciting plans for this backyard, which hopefully we should be able to put into action soon. When we got our tax return, we we held some money aside because we wanted to do one project on the house, and I think we're gonna try to get the backyard ready for summer. So we're gonna rip out all of the grass, replace it with pavers because as you can see, uh, Sissy likes to dig holes in the grass, and we don't really wanna pay for turf, so we're just gonna do all pavers, and then I think we wanna do like a canopy like gazebo type thing and move our picnic table out there maybe with like a nice fire pit and then we're going to keep all of this open for the girls to play and ride bikes and everything like that and yeah so i think we should be doing that pretty soon we're going to keep w at least one of the sides rock for the dogs to go potty and we want to keep that tree and then eventually we'll probably replace all of the well, not replace, but just freshen up the planter box back there. And then I'm not sure what we're going to do with the slope yet. Right now it's just uh, a few rose bushes and some mulch. But we do eventually want to fix that up, replace the basketball hoop with a new net, and just get the backyard ready for summer. And then I know Mark also wants to buy like one of those little jacuzzi pop-up type things. I think he found it on Amazon. So we might be getting one of those. And yeah, so I'm gonna, um, Franny's getting a little cranky. I'm gonna go ahead and try to put her to sleep while Amelia plays, and then we'll get on with the rest of our day. All right, it is a little while later. It is now one o'clock, and we just got back from a quick Target run. I forgot the camera here, so I figured I would give you guys just a quick little haul of the things that we picked up. So I'm trying to set up the groceries to do my haul, and I look over it, and Franny, Fran, Franny's swinging in the swing backwards. There you go, Flan. There you go. Okay. Nope, done enough, Fran. No, Fran. Here, you wanna play with the purse? Here, here, here. Play with this. Franny. Oh my goodness, okay. You come over here, and you play with this. Okay, 
I'm gonna get you guys some lunch. So I picked up some of these crackers. Usually I just get the cheese and peanut butter, but this one was a variety pack, and I don't know if she'll like the cheddar ones, but I think she'll like the toast and peanut butter. So we'll try those out. I got a new mascara. I've been using this mascara since high school, I think, and it's the only one that I really, really like. Just picked up one of those. I got some frozen soft pretzels. Just trying to find the girls some new things for lunch or quick dinners. I got a few pouches. They're not really into pouches anymore, but when they do eat pouches, this has been their favorite flavor for both Amelia and Fran. I got some finger paints that I was talking about this morning for the bathtub. Those are a dollar, so I stocked up on those. Some cantaloupe because both the girls really love cantaloupe. I got these veggie tots which I'm actually going to try out for lunch. They have a bunch of vegetables in them and I think if they're anything like the fries that we tried, they taste just like french fries. So we're going to try those. I got some apples for Amelia. I got myself some grapes. Mark requested room spray for work. I got a bag of broccoli. Salad. I picked up some of these chocolate chip cookies because I thought it'd be fun for Amelia and I to make them. This is the seventh generation disinfectant spray. It's uh, really safe, so I spray it on all the girls' toys, and it's even safe to use on like food contact surfaces without wiping it off. Sugar-free creamer, and then a pack of gum. So I'm gonna get all this put away, get the girls some lunch. <laughs> All right, change of plans. I didn't realize that the veggie tots, t veggie tots took a little while, so I have them cooking in the oven, and then I'm just gonna kind of like meal prep them and save them for dinner tonight. So I made Amelia a peanut butter sandwich with her veggie pouch and some cantaloupe, trying to keep it nice and healthy because she still isn't feeling too good. This is for the bathtub. After you eat your lunch, we'll go take a bath, okay? Do you wanna sing happy birthday to you? Ready? Happy birthday to you. Don't touch. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Amelia. Happy birthday to you. Ready? <gasps> Yay! All right, and then Franny. Also had the same pouch, she just finished it. She's snacking on some melts and then these cauliflower sticks that I showed in yesterday's vlog. All right, you guys, I'm talking quiet because both girls are asleep and I don't want them to hear my voice. But it is now 4.30. I actually just got four miles in on the treadmill and I took a shower and shaved my legs and both girls are still asleep, which is, that, that never happens. Like that's never happened ever in the two years that I've been a mom. They're both crashed out. So I have white noise playing, but I opened up their doors so that hopefully they can start to wake up soon because it is getting late. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the dogs fed and I think just sit in silence until they wake up because this never happens. <gasps> Good morning, Sleepy McSleepy. Did you have a good nap? Oh, you're okay. 